it was a Category 5 hurricane, Irma. A storm unlike any the Caribbean paradise of St. Thomas had seen before. It was in some ways a perfect storm of chaos. If someone's going to vanish from the island without any trace, it could have happened then. And that's exactly what happened. 32-year-old Hannah Up, a beloved teacher at a local Montessori school, had ridden out the storm only to disappear eight days later. We were supposed to have a staff meeting. Hannah didn't show up. Nobody had seen her. And then I went to her house, and she wasn't there, and her car wasn't there. She drove down to Sapphire Beach, which was her favorite beach. Inside the car were all of her uh, personal items. There was no sign of foul play. She simply vanished. What many people didn't know is that this was not the first time Hannah had disappeared. I did not know about her previous disappearances. Almost 10 years before, Hannah went missing in New York City. She was found barely alive, floating face down in the New York Harbor. No memory of where she'd been for the past three weeks. Doctors diagnosed her with dissociative fugue. Dissociative fugue means that you have a period where suddenly you've lost your autobiographical memories, the memories that define you as you, but not necessarily other memories. Who are you? This rare disorder is sometimes known name? as the Jason Bourne syndrome. What's your name? I don't know. From the wildly popular movies about a CIA assassin who doesn't know who he is, <laughs> but remembers his training. <laughs> Elizabeth Vargas in A&E's The Untold Story, Vanished in Paradise, retraces Hannah's life with dissociative fugue and the days before she disappeared. Hannah grew up the daughter of two Methodist ministers in Oregon and at 23 became a public school teacher in New York City. Everybody describes Hannah as a bright um, person, engaging, open. In 2008, she left her New York City apartment to go running and then went missing. New York City police thought, you know, we're dealing with a terrible crime here. They were looking for a dead body. Hannah Up was last seen at her Hamilton Heights apartment last Friday. She became a high-profile missing persons case. She seemed to have vanished into thin air. The NYPD says someone has caught a glimpse of a missing teacher. Ten days later, she pops up at an Apple store of all places. Logging in on her own ID. And security cam footage shows her being approached by a young man who knows her from school, saying, Hannah, or aren't, you're Hannah, right? Aren't you, aren't you missing? And she says, no, I'm not Hannah and walks away. So a person who has psychogenic fugue to people on the outside may look completely normal. They're doing things, they're, they know how to do things, they understand the world at large, they don't appear to be distressed, they're just in an altered state. Later, she was spotted using her own gym pass. Investigators were perplexed. Authorities couldn't track her down until she was pulled from the water by crew members of the Staten Island Ferry. Hannah's mother, Barbara Bellis, remembers vividly the moment she found out her daughter was still alive. Early afternoon when the phone rang. It was a uh, nurse at the emergency room. What did she say? She told me that my daughter had been pulled out of the water and she was alive. She was dehydrated, badly sunburned, and hypothermic. But when I first saw her, she had no idea what had happened. What did she tell you? Did she say, Mom, I can't how remember? Are, how are, how are, she, said, she said, I, I'm fine, but I'm scared. I don't know what happened. The documentary has this recording of Hannah up after she was rescued. She's talking to a reporter in a New York City coffee shop. It goes from like going for a run to like being in the ambulance. And for me, that was like, what, 10 minutes past, but it was like great. Obviously, the hardest part is the period right after. Right. So you feel shame and you feel embarrassed and you feel guilt. Sure, all things that I've like definitely felt. After her fugue, Hannah moved to Maryland and there had yet another episode. Many people in her life believe she was looking to escape her past. So in 2014, Hannah moved to the island oasis of St. Thomas. She is the center of the party. She threw herself into island life, embracing a new set of friends who shared her passion for Zumba. But Hurricane Irma wreaked havoc on the island, and some of her friends say on Hannah, too. Everybody was stressed out, and she was certainly stressed out. 
and certainly the day before Hannah disappears, people noticed something was off. She seemed to be almost in a trance. A dissociative fugue occurs in people who have suffered a tremendous trauma. It may have been a trauma in their past, or it might be a recent trauma, like living through a natural disaster. But Hannah's mother insists that for her daughter, her fugue episodes do not have clear triggers. I think what's so mysterious is this idea that she loved her life. She was a young woman who definitely loved her life. That doesn't mean she couldn't have been struggling with something deep and dark inside of herself. It's been almost two years since anyone's seen Hannah. Her mother has become a fixture on St. Thomas. She thinks it's possible that Hannah is still alive and is suffering from another fugue. There are documented cases of fugue states lasting as long as four years. Yeah. And that, that helps me to keep on going. It's never been an option to give up. And hopes the answer to where her daughter is can be found here. Do you think you'll ever know for sure, Barbara, what happened? I can only tell you that that hope is persistent, and many people join me in that hope. And you can watch The Untold Story, Vanished in Paradise, tomorrow night on A&E. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.